In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can use keyframes on CapCut. Now with keyframes, you're going to be changing the position of a video. Not just positions, you can also do things like change the opacity and um, so many other stuff. But for this tutorial, we're just going to keep it simple and work with positions. So I have this video of this tiger that I made in my green screen video. I'll leave a link to that in the description if you want to see it. So I'm going to tap on it. And um, now you see this um, option that comes on. So this is the keyframe button. So what I did was I made the tiger come from the left side of the screen onto the, should I say the middle? Let's just put it in the middle. So with the keyframe, you can decide different points in the video. So whatever this white line is, this is the playhead, is where you can create the point. So let's say at this point, that's the beginning of the video, you want the tiger or whatever it is it can be a ball it can be a cup whatever it is you can have it here so to specify that you want this object here you can click on this to create a keyframe as you can see a red diamond shape has appeared now this shape is going to keep the video in this position so if you go further in the video you can decide where you want the new position of the object to be by tapping on this and now if you change the position let's say you bring it here if i play it from the beginning you see what's going to happen so the tiger is gradually making itself to the middle of the screen which is the new position that i put it so all you're essentially saying is from this first keyframe to this next one you want the object to move from the first position to the new position that's just how it works so let's say i decide to we are still on this keyframe so let's say i decide to move the tiger up here so if i give it a play i've only done the position but i can also change the size so let's say at this point, I want the tiger to be very small, almost invisible. And uh, at this point, the tiger should be quite big, not too big, and still in the top right corner. So if I give it a play, you're going to see that it gradually gets big. So what it means is at this point you want the tiger to be small and um, and then when it gets to this point it should make itself very big so you can do this with pictures videos whatever it is and uh, yeah that's just the first example i have another video that talks about keyframes i'll leave a link to that in the description but that's for power director but it's still the same principle so just understand how that works and you're going to be fine so if you guys want more examples you can let me know in the comments and i'll try to create more videos on keyframes. But until then, take care of yourselves and I'll be seeing you in the next video.